Hi! Ooh, I'm getting some light dots on my face. Let's see how I can fix that. That's better, right? Uh, maybe not. Well, that's okay. You guys don't mind, right? We're, we're just gonna go with it. I figured it might be kind of fun to, oh, sorry, it's a little distracting. <laughs> I thought it might be fun to do something a little different, be in a different spot, have different vibes. I hope you are all having a really wonderful week so far. I hope that this week has brought you feeling like you are on the right path, that you are doing the best you can each day, and recognizing that you can't and you shouldn't do everything all at once or change everything all at once and know that it's okay if you're prioritizing one thing at a time and even honing in and prioritizing and really nailing down that one thing will help that next thing be <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i like felt it coming on so soon um knowing that mastering that one thing will help you be able to move on to the next thing and master that next thing too. So don't compare yourself to other people's journey. Just compare yourself to where you were at three months ago. And I can guarantee if you've been prioritizing yourself and your goals and showing up for you, that that progress has been tremendous. I want you to not only look at physical progress, I want you to look at mental progress, maybe other things that have developed in your professional life or your personal life. There are so many areas to feel proud and progress and success in. So that was just a little aside real quick. But yesterday I asked in the group, what is your why? And I love this question and I know it's a little, you know, I don't want to say it's woo, woo woo because it's an important question. And so I asked it because I want you all to start reflecting if you haven't already, or hopefully that prompted you to do some self-reflection on what is your why? If you're not too sure what your why or the why is, it's what is in deep inside of you driving you forward might be your kids. It might be seeing a lot of your family members getting sick young and you don't want that same thing to happen to you and to your family. Maybe maybe you've been through a, a, a huge journey and your why is remembering that and pushing forward. Whatever your why is, whatever you can internally reflect on and identify and it doesn't have to be just one thing it probably isn't just one thing I'm going to share mine in a little bit but um because here's the thing you're not always going to be motivated you're not always going to want to go to the gym you're not always going to want to make the healthier choice at the restaurant you're not always going to want to go to bed early when you know you have to wake up early the next day, you're not always going to want to make the choice that is helping you get to your goals. A lot of times it's the harder choice. Um, and so because we will not always be motivated or want to do the things, whatever the thing is, we must rely and re and remember that deep why. What is that deep intrinsic why that is pushing you forward that you can think back on when you have those moments of low motivation or that you're just feeling blah or you don't wanna do it or whatever, that you can then tap into that why and help it and have it help you push forward and make the right decision and do it for all of those things. So if you haven't already reflected on your own why, this is a really great journal prompt. So I encourage you if you don't have a journal or a piece of paper, even just pull out a notes on your phone or open up a Word document and on your computer and start typing away and just 
reflect on this, type it out, write it out. I'm, I'm a writer. I make lists. I could, I even, just as an aside, I write down lists with pen and paper and then take a photo of it on my phone so I have it with me. I don't know. For me, it's just something about the tactical writing. So if that's how you are, do that. If you like typing things up on your phone, do that. But we want to spend some time on this, reflect on your why, and then I want you to save that whether it's a note on your phone, a document on your computer, or a piece of paper, a letter that you can fold up and put in your, your desk drawer, your purse somewhere. And when you're feeling down on yourself, or when you're feeling frustrated, or when you're just feeling unmotivated, I want you to go back and read that. That's actually um, an exercise that I do with all of my clients when we first start out together is write a letter to yourself. And so this is kind of similar. Writing, writing down your why so that you can go back to it in those moments of struggle and hardship and challenge and lack of motivation can reignite that fire for you and help you keep pushing forward. It's not every day is not going to be amazing. There are going to be ups and downs, but really tapping into that why will help you immensely remember your purpose and reignite that fire. So if anybody would love to share your why with the group, it would be amazing for you. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, It'd be just like a little tidbit, but I would love to hear from you all in terms of what your why is. So kind of piggybacking off of that, I thought it would be kind of cool to share with you guys my why and my story and why I am so passionate about doing what I do and talking to you and helping people with their nutrition and reaching their goals in the way that I believe it. And that's because my why and what pushes me forward is kind of twofold, right? Like I had my own struggles with nutrition. If you aren't familiar, I'll, I'll do a summary right now. But basically, I was going to college, was not a nutrition major, but I um, was really dissatisfied with my body and I had a lot of, um, you know, that poor relationship with food and my body. And so I did what I could or what I thought was going to be the right thing to help me lose weight. And so that was, you know, online looking for easy ways to lose weight, fad diets. Um, I had like a whole Pinterest board. I still probably have it and can pull it up. Just following very extreme, very low calorie, very under nourishing my body. For an, an extended period of time, I would eat, you know, very little and work out very hard. And of course, we know that your body doesn't like that <laughs> and it's not going to respond well. And so guess what? I continued doing this and I was so frustrated and I was so like down about it. Like I keep doing this. I, I'm eating as little, you know, as little as possible exercising multiple times a day. Why is this happening? And then when I switched my major to nutrition, I actually then started learning the science behind nutrition and what our bodies need in terms of fuel and to do all of the things we ask our body to do, including having an optimal body composition. So with the knowledge I was learning in my nutrition classes, I started applying it to myself and it was like a light bulb clicked. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, I should be eating more. I need to be eating more. My body needs more. And by no, you know, learning about food, the different macronutrients, the different um, combinations and distributions that we need for different goals, and really kind of using myself as my own first case study. And it was incredible. Like this, I'm telling you, it was this epiphany. And when I saw my body transform by eating more, that sparked this fire in me. 
that I need to help other people see this too. And so fast forward to me as a dietitian, that's why I love, love, love talking about sustainable weight loss and, you know, how to maintain your results and losing weight, losing fat, actually, because we don't want to just lose weight because we want to lose fat, not muscle, right? We want to preserve our muscle. Um, helping you lose weight in a way that is healthy and is not perpetuating a negative relationship with food or your body and recognizing that oftentimes that means eating more food. Yes, we work on shifting what you're eating and honing in how much you're eating, but I will say that the majority of my my clients that I start working with start out eating far too little. So before we can even go into a caloric deficit, we have to build up their metabolism to be like used to eating how much food their body needs. And that's really what fires me up and gets me so excited to say like, this is why this is happening. And I can tell you this with such passion and conviction because I've literally done it. I've been through it. I saw what happened when I did it the one way, what it wasn't working in the past. I implemented a new strategy, a new protocol, and I saw my body composition change. And I've also learned how to maintain it. So this is all stuff that I've been through. I've been through, I understand. And so because of that, that is my why. Tapping into those pains and that previous experience and not wanting to go back there, like kind of my own journey with nutrition. When I see things, maybe some old thoughts bubbling up or something like that, remembering that, hey, you've been through this, you know what to do. And then also utilizing that with my clients to change lives, transform bodies, and really transform relationship with food too, because we have to eat for the rest of our life, right? We're always gonna have to eat. And so it's important to learn how to eat in a way that doesn't stress you out and in a way that helps you get to where you wanna be and stay there. So that's a big piece of my why. A big piece of my why of, my, of having my business and helping you guys is so that I can help as many people as I can do what I was just describing. I want to impact as many people as I can. And I want to be able to own my day and mm, travel when I want to and make my own schedule and have these things that the freedom that comes along with doing the the clients and having the business. Now, um, I don't, a lot of you might not know this, I still work full time. So I'm not there yet. But part of the reason why I'm so driven to help as many people reach these body composition goals and reach their goals and spread the word on what nutrition can do for you, that in turn is helping me fulfill a life dream too. And so it's a very exciting relationship that we have with each other. And I'm so, so grateful and blessed to be on this platform and this journey with you. And I, and I hope that this was helpful for you in some way. But we'll just wrap it up here. And um, thank you for letting me be vulnerable and share my own why and my own journey with you. I hope that you found value from it. And so uh, looping back to what we had mentioned at the beginning, I really encourage you to spend, spend some time, self-reflect, write out your why, what's pushing you forward even when you're not feeling motivated. Keep that whether it's on your phone, your computer, on a piece of paper, keep that available so that you can go back and read it and remind yourself why it matters to you, okay? All right, you guys have a fabulous rest of your evening. I am so glad that 
I was able to spend a little bit of time with you today on this Wednesday. And if you need anything from me, you know where to find me. Just reach out and I hope you have a great night. Talk to you later.